Dog, it's your boy Load here. Welcome to the third episode of Load Crab. Now we have finally finished building my wonderful house that I kind of hope you guys like. But still, it is done here. Let's take a peek. And whoop, there it is. I got the Steve statue that I took from like episode one, I think, what I want to say. But uh, here we go. Here's here's the house in all its glory. I still need to take that off. But you know what? Do the entrance. Uh, but uh, let's see. From a distance, let's see the whole. I um, mean, guess the stairs is in the way. For architecture, it's like uh, cobblestone, 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 cobblestone around. Uh, wooden floor, gl um, glass panels all around except for at the entrance. So, like, the doors can go there. And then this cool looking wood area here that I don't know. I just wanted to add some sort of uh, feature to the house besides like just like a massively giant panel. So, I mean, it feels a little empty. And that's because, you know, it is empty. But still, you know, I still need stuff to, to, to put there. This will be like a little storage area. I'm going to put chests up here, rising. Maybe some chests down here for some extra room. And then up here, we have my uh, little sleeping area, my quarters, and the two beds. So if I sleep on the left side, uh, I pop out outside here. So I added this door here so I could walk back in, you know, just because I don't want to be stuck outside. I can do this cool little walk around over here because, you know, uh, lit. And yeah, that's pretty much my new house. I'm gonna add some torches on top, actually, now that I think about it. And probably an extra door uh, on the other side so I can access that side of the house, too. Up here. Now, I was debating whether or not I wanted to put it like straight across, or do I wanna make like a little area right here that I could like add the door here. So, you know, that's kinda cool. Actually, honestly, I think I'm out of here just cause I feel like that needs to be there. Although I should put it on the other side for sure. Yeah, and then I need I need more glass. I think glass is in this one. No, that's my that's my valuable chest. That's food, and this should be in here. Gla oh, there you go. Grab a glass, and then we'll. Oh, it's turning dark too, actually, so we can test this out soon. And we gotta destroy this one. Glass block, and then destroy this one. Glass block, and then we'll put the door on the outside. So there's like a cool. A uh, little cave in. Oh, wait, no, but then we can't access it. No, <laughs> I didn't think this one through. Huh. Um, hmm. Ooh, I sh really should have thought this one through. I guess we're going to have to put it just straight across. All right, we're going to have to grab the, the, <laughs> the glass panels. Hmm. I really did not think that went through. I honestly didn't think it would happen like that until after I set it down. So, uh, oh, well. It's the, it was still a cool idea. Let me just grab the door back. Let's grab that one. And should place that. And then add the door here. On the outside. And then we're going to have to add wooden blocks. Uh, I mean glass blocks on this side. Alright, so I know how the, the bed works on the left side. So now I'm going to test the right side and see if I spawn on uh, outside over there. Instead. And, uh, yep, I have to walk out here, and then I gotta go back inside. So let me set up the torches here so I can see from inside when it gets dark. Just, uh, some extra lighting. Just, to, well, actually, I, I don't want, I don't want to be able to see these torches from, from out there. So I'm gonna put them a little bit more inner so I don't have to see them from, like, when I stand there. For more an aesthetic, pleasing kind of feel. Oh, and then... Probably actually, yeah. I'll probably put some on the other side too, and then put some here. Uh, so probably put just like right there and like right there. All right, cool. So now the house is lit. Um, it doesn't look symmetrical from underneath, but that's still okay. Uh, as to what I'm gonna do with this whole area here, I still have no idea. And like my under under part here, this is obviously gonna be chests there and stuff. But I I don't know what I'm gonna do with all my stuff quite yet. But I think it's finally time that I start uh, adventuring a little bit more. Um, I think I definitely... Uh, I think my gear is going to be alright. If we're entering the Twilight Zone, which is going to be like the, the first chapter, I guess you could say, of uh, Load Craft here. So let me grab some materials that I'm probably going to need for this adventure, this first part of the adventure. Cool, cool. And hopefully we find another statue for that. But uh, we're definitely we're definitely gonna have to go offline, or at least like not on recording, and grab more, uh, or make a farm so I can have a, a steady supply of food, like, like a pig farm, um, you know, corn and stuff. Corn is actually like the best, the best resource to make. Uh, so just, oh look, more tomatoes, more tomatoes. Wonderful. 
Uh, I don't think tomatoes give that much, but still, I mean, it's something. It's definitely something. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this uh, portal. So I'm just going to use an existing body of water because I'm lazy. Uh, no surprise there. Alright, and then we're just going to... Oh, no, it needs to be a, it needs to be a dirt, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I need a bucket, don't I? Ugh, I suck at this. With the power of editing, I have returned back to the spot with a handy dandy water bucket. Alright, let's see. I'm just gonna add that water there. And grab another bucket, and then add that there, and then grab another bucket, and then boom, we're good to go. Alright, then we're going to need to surround this thing with flowers. Voila, just like so. I have the perfect amount too, and then we got throw this diamond in from distance. And voila! We have the Twilight Forest, so uh, here's where we're going to begin our new adventure. I'm going to go ahead and take the shaders off because I know loading in this new world is, might crash the actual computer, so if it does, we'll be back in a sec. If not, here we go. Alright guys, so we loaded up the world a little bit. There was no crash or anything. I just wanted to load up some more chunks before actually getting back into it, so there's a little bit less lag spikes. I'm going to go ahead and mark this area as a uh, portal home. Portal home. So I don't lose my so let's just make it like make it green. Actually I think we should make it green just because like you know it's the Twilight Forest. This is home. Alrighty. Off we go into into an adventure of of, of, of wonderful and, and, and death and I don't know how to Okay no, we we wanna go that way. We wanna go this way. This way is clear. I I'm gonna take some of these trees home though. For for sure. That's like that's a good amount of wood. That's some good wood. Oh, snap. And we're right next to one of those spawner thingies. I'm not sure I have the gear to fight it, though. I honestly not not sure if I have the gear to fight the, uh, the Narga. The Narga. I forgot what it's called. But it, it, I know, I remember how it looked. That That's its battlefield right there. It's like a giant snake that I have to fight. However, I'm not quite confident in my gear yet, so I don't want to go and fight it quite yet. What is this? I want to see what kind of enemy this is. Twilight Hunter. It drops torch berries. What do I do with that? Craft guide. Set item. Torch. Right. What does this do? Okay, make it make a torch. It can make a magic map focus. And it can make a worm something. Okay, so it seems pretty valuable. I might farm it. I might, I might farm some of it because, like, it seems like a pretty valuable resource. Something, something I definitely want to have, uh, for sure. And is that a, that is a massive tree. All right, we'll leave this here. I'm definitely gonna go take down that tree, and it's gonna destroy my iron axe. But I'm gonna take it down, and I'm gonna have a crap ton of wood <laughs> to take home. Uh, but I will never have to worry about wood again. So, uh, all right, here we go. Let me, uh, yeah. My axe is going to break from this, but it'll be worth it. This will probably be longer than mining obsidian. I actually can't see if it's working. <laughs> Wait, no, I think I think it's working. Yes, I see breaking. I see breaking. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting somewhere. Lit. Man, this is going to take forever. This is where you cue like the, the Wii music again <laughs> in the montage. Lit. That's it. That's all it took down. You're kidding. Oh, you can climb up this. That's still a good chunk of wood, but but still like you can come up this thing. I have the feeling that I'm about to approach death. Oh, no. I've never seen this before. I didn't know you could go inside of it and climb up it. Yep, that that sounds like death to me. Oh, they give me the chills. Ooh. Ooh, they give me the chills. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Hold up. Can I? Can I hold up? Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I do this. Oh, nope. Can I not? Can I? Can I not? What happens if I go into my inventory here? Oh, I start going down. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. All right, I gotta. MLG that okay so cool now my bucket is in my MLG spot so I won't f if I fall then I, I might be able to MLG myself up 
All right, let's check what's up here. Oof. I kind of, I kind of can't get out. Hmm. Hmm. Old Minecraft skills never die. I need some air though. Right, there we go. Let's go back down. Minecraft logic. Or lack of. Alright, alright. Yo, this is a big tree though. Okay. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Alright. Ah, go, 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 go. Oh my god. I suck at this. I used to be able to do this without falling, but I don't know. Maybe it's the material. It could just be the material. Okay, I tried. I can climb up from this point. Oh, timing this is gonna be hard. Come on, 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 come on. Oh my god, this is like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh god, please. Okay, whatever. Oh, look, you can see the ceiling. Alright. Alright, here we go. No, please. God dang it. I really suck at this. Maybe I have to do just one block. Just one block. Or maybe it's the leaves. Nope. I, I just completely fall. Where have the times gone? Baby, it's all wrong. I used to be able to climb this thing with ease. Oh, this is taking forever. Let's just break this. Nice. I'm going to break that. And we're up. All right. What's up here? Please tell me I didn't climb here for nothing. Please tell me I did not climb up this monstrosity, this monstrosity of a tree, for nothing. Please tell me there's like seven things up here, at least seven things. Uh, I hate my life. There's absolutely nothing up here. I'm not getting my my, my time back. Hold on, can I can I MLG this? Oh God! <laughs> oh God! I I felt my heart drop. I actually felt my heart drop. <laughs> I barely made that. Oh man. Um, man, if I if only I could have mined that down and like. Do I have materials in my backpack? I have nothing in my backpack. Okay, well, we'll have to come back to that eventually. Let's, let's kill whatever spawns here. Where'd he go? Give me that. What is that? Oh that's, just, oh, that's just Enderman. Come at me, bro. That's actually kind of scary. Their faces look, do not look nice in this texture pack, particularly. I kind of don't want to spawn it in. So I'm going to take a look, see, though. What is that? A sheep or like a ram. Oh, look at the little deeries. Don't know they're standing in a pit of death. Um. Hmm. Okay. I should probably definitely mark this area. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, you can. Oh, there goes a naga. There goes a naga. There it is. That's what it is right there. I might be able to fight it. I really don't want to fight it though. So I'm just gonna. I'm just going to uh, mark its its spot right here and call this the the naga. It's called the naga. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Alright. Can I, can I, go? Uh, there we go. Alrighty, cool. So we found a Naga. I'm not going to kill it quite yet. I definitely need to find a new place. I really want to take down that big tree. That's going to be a lot of wood if I can take that thing down. But for now, we're just going to ignore that and keep exploring. Because that is what I want to do. I need to find the castle or something. Or something cool to do. Something definitely exciting. Twilight Forest is like the easiest kind of boss-ish area. Of uh, the load craft, so it's, it's the first thing I'm gonna start off with. Get some some decent loot. Don't, you can still see the Naga's health bar. Why oh, do these things sound like cows? <laughs> I even got the cow tip reward for it. I am not fighting the. Na oh no! Oh, I probably should have MLG bucketed that. What is that thing? 
Hold on. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna fight this. We're gonna fight that. We're gonna we're gonna kick this thing's butt. I'm getting hit from behind. I'm getting hit from behind. Oh God! I didn't see what was hitting me. Oh no! And we have fatigue. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, thank you, Mr. <laughs> Skeleton. All right, let's get that heal. All right, that was uh almost scary. What is that? Is that obsidian? That's just straight obsidian. Um, hmm. All right, these mushrooms look pretty dang cool. There's a there's a well. Uh, I probably should have killed those things. Now I think about it. Oh well. Uh, we'll we'll worry about that later. Let's see. These mushrooms look pretty chill. Uh, man, what is wrong with this map? This map does not want to load. It really does not want to load. Um, hmm. weather. All right, let's kill it. Oh, that's a big doggy. Whoa! Let me talk about why that thing can fling me. Whoa! I can shift to dismount. You die. Oop, that, that was a lame noise. Why, why is it slowness? Oh, okay. What is this? The blizzard surrounding these snowy lands is unceasing. This is no ordinary snowfall. This is a magical phenomenon. I have to conduct experiments to find... The capable of blah, blah. at the center of the dark forest where the leaves turn red and the grass dies, there is a wooden tower. Atop the tower are fixed structures acting like antennas. The antennas are not the source of the snowfall, but serve merely to boost the power of the curse causing it. The blizzard that intense that in intense this intense must be caused by a powerful creature, most likely found near the top of the dark forest tower. So after the creature and the blizzard will fade. So I gotta find a dark forest and find a tower in the dark forest. And man, I really can't see. Did I get anything off those killing those things? I don't think I got anything besides leather. I don't know. I really can't see anything, so let's uh it's oh. oh chunks. Chunks loading. Okay. It looks rather interesting. I've never done the snow part. I know I've done like the very beginning of the 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 Naga. Killing the Naga, getting like the scale or whatever. So that's the first thing I want first one I'm gonna do. But I also need to find a tower for it. And then go up to it and kill the the boss, and then that'll be like the naga done. However, I still need to do the ice one, which I have never done before. So it's gonna be really interesting to do the ice one. So I think the first couple, the first like next episodes are definitely gonna have to be the the uh, the naga experience, or like at least the Twilight Force experience. And then we'll go back into Lodecraft and do some of the upper world stuff. But uh, for now, this is definitely a start. Is definitely somewhere I wanna I wanna uh, continue to explore, and continue to do so. So I might have to clear out some trees, etc., etc. But for now I'm gonna head back because I feel like I don't I'm not properly properly geared enough to fight the um the Naga quite yet. Although I might be exaggerating its strength, I would just feel much better if I had like a bow. And or emerald armor. I think I can make some emerald armor. But um, the thing is, I'm not even fully diamond armor, so I don't want to jump the gun quite yet and just be like, all right, here we go, we're going to go in and kill the Nog, which I probably could do. But for the sake of video and the lack of not wanting to look like a scrub, I <laughs> will wait till I have better gear. Okay. Wait, but we we headed, we headed this way instead of going straight around. What I kind of want to explore what is straight around the Naga spawn area, like this way. Um, it just seems to be just trees this way too. I wish I could have gotten better spawn, like a more interesting spawn for sure. I mean, at least I got spawn near like a Naga thing, so I might kill it and then look for a different location to teleport to. Because this one seems a little bit underwhelming and just seems like straight up trees. So, yeah, I'm just going to head back then, I guess. Uh, this is a pretty good find. I mean, I got, I got wood. That that is like a great essential that I did receive today. I need to start upgrading my gear though. I need to um, collect emerald gear and or diamond stuff, and maybe higher tier um, weapons too. If I get ultimate gear, that'd be great. But I have to have to grind for that kind of stuff, especially since I'm not cheating. Uh, hopefully next time I'll be able to do hardcore. Or if I die one time, you know the series is over. I essentially just die, which would be very fun in Lodecraft, so I'll have to I'll have to play very, very like casually or like very defensively strategically so I don't die. And maybe not go in for all like the balls and stuff, you know, because if I do die, I do have a mod 
on that's called gravestone so when I die all my stuff goes into that gravestone and if I come back to the spot where I died I can dig up that gravestone and get all my stuff back hopefully we won't have to use that anytime soon uh, but for now we really need to get on home all right and we're back all right that that was a short-lived uh, trip we definitely got the wood we needed um, I might have to make a separate location for um, for a better spawn uh, but uh, as of now, that was a pretty good trip. I mean, I got what I needed. I was really going, only going there for like a big amount of wood, or a large quantity of wood, and I definitely got what I wanted. So I gotta start making some chests so I can get some storage going on up in here. All right, so uh, that was a pretty good adventure. I guess I just gotta make some basic gear. I definitely upgrade all my materials. So let's. Uh and that's pretty much going to conclude the first episode, I think. Honestly, just seeing that first exp exploration area was uh, was kind of the whole goal here. Uh, we'll definitely uh, go explore more later on in the uh, season or episodes. So uh, please stay tuned for those episodes to come. We're going to call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.